हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबॉडी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड स्ट्रेट लाइंस बट बिकॉज ऑफ योर एग्जाम्स आई डेट कंटिन्यू इट ओके सो टुडे वील अगेन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग क्लियर सो इफ यू रिमेंबर इन क्लास नाइन
a part of the line. The line that is in a wet surface. Makes in the first direction of
if your angle that is theta is less than 180 or 180 but greater than or equal to 90 then m can be taken as a 90 100 and 180 minus theta that is minus 10 theta okay or you can use 10 90 plus theta it means minus cos theta okay for example as i have discussed earlier also suppose the value of the theta is 150 degree okay so in two ways this can be written as a 180 minus 30 also or this can be written as a 90 plus 60 also na? in two ways we can find out 100, 150 either subtracting 30 from 180 or adding 60 to 90 so m can be taken as a 10 150 this will be written as 10 180 minus 30 that is minus 10 30 and we know that the value of 10 30 is 1 by root 3 so its value is minus 1 by root 3 or we can also find it as a this 10 150 can be written as 10 90 plus 60 if it is in the terms of 90 name changes 10 becomes what and it is 90 plus so it is minus what 60 if you remember cos 60 is again 1 by 2 3 so in this two way we can calculate the tangent slope of any line ok now let us see what is the condition for the parallel lines ok now let us see what is the condition for the two lines if they are parallel ok so the slope of parallel lines the condition for the slopes of parallel lines prove that the two non vertical lines are parallel if and only if their slopes are equal suppose these two lines l1 and l2 are given with the inclination as a theta 1 and theta 2 and their slopes are m1 and its slope is ok we will prove it two conditions first we will take, we will take that the lines are parallel then we will prove the slopes are equal and again in the reverse condition we will take the slopes are equal that will prove that the lines are parallel ok we are taking let l1 is parallel to l2 ok now if lines are equal then corresponding angles are equal so this gives that theta 1 is equal to theta 2 so if you take 10 on both the sides the volume remains same 10 theta 1 is n1 and 10 theta 2 is n2 because we have learned that n theta is denoted by n ok so means if the lines are parallel then slopes are equal in the reverse condition we are taking let m1 is equal to n2 then m1 can be written as a 10 theta 1 and n2 can be written as a 10 theta 2 so 10 on both the sides are there means angles will be so that is, if the angles are equal, that is the corresponding angles are equal, so lines are parallel. Okay? So this is the condition, if the lines are parallel, their slopes will be equal, and if slopes are equal, then we can take the lines as a parallel. Okay? Hope you have understand this. Try to do this uh, again, go through this once again, and tomorrow we will see the condition of parallel lines. Okay? Good day.